Good Corey Rutherford's super chat here at the five pound chat says, <clears throat> thinking about getting a 10K bank loan. <laughs> here we go for <laughs> Ethereum, Alluvium, Gala, and Hex, and paying over a few years to uh, to catch the lows now. Any views on this? Love from the UK. Appreciate you, sir. Um, <laughs> I got a thought on this, but I'll let, I'll let you respond first, Joey. No, I was just going to say we've heard this story many, 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 many times. Right. And personally, Right. Obviously, work with money you're willing to lose, but it really depends on your interest rate. Right. There's some people who have the right interest rate and hey, you don't need to pay it back for five years. It's all good. But for most people, I would say just work more, get more money, put more in, don't use leverage. But hey, you know, uh, if you're going to do it at any portion of the market, you know, near bottoms is is, uh, is decent. Right. I'm, a, I'm I'm going just to preface this. I'm going to wear this hat before I say this. So you, know, so you understand, like, if this ever gets brought up again, like, you, I took advice from this guy, right? <laughs> but all, all jokes aside, right? Um, yeah. So, obviously, I, I was saying if there ever was a point in time to do this, I was saying that late 21, early t- first quarter of 22, I was telling people, like, if you ever want to take a loan, this would probably be the better time to do it not because the interest rates are almost at zero. Or at zero. Mm-hmm. Now the interest rates have gone up four point five percent higher. Yeah, so the only only scenarios I've ever heard of where it makes sense for people is like when they just get like something crazy favorable from their bank because they're like part of the military or or something, right? Like some sort of advantage situation. Like I can't imagine anybody getting a, a good loan from a bank, you know, for several years at this moment in time. Yeah. Right. Credit you you would probably check credit unions. If you're going to do it, mm-hmm. credit unions usually, and or um, it just credit, or maybe a loan from a family member, but be careful doing that with family. And so it's like, yeah, I know it's just, it's, it's, a, it just, it's all, it's all dependent on the person and like situation and stuff like that. Um, just be really fucking careful and stuff like that. Like, it, it just everyone, some people have their families are in really good financial positions and they're willing to do that for you and it's nothing off their back. Other people, like, it's that's all the money in the world to them and you're borrowing it from them. It's, it's uh, well, and yeah, you know, usually, you know. It, it, yeah, it's just usually between family members or between even friends, like, you know, loans are, are a terrible idea. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just one of those things where it's like, it's all about like, where, like, where does the risk hit on that, right? Does it hit, you know, can it get contagion into other areas of your life, whether that be financial or otherwise? And if it can, then don't do it, right? But if you can contain the, uh, the, the blast, if it goes wrong on you, you know, yeah. it, that, then that's fine. And, and it also depends on your income as well, right? If you're already making $100,000 a year, getting a ten or $30,000 loan isn't that crazy. But you have to – let me put it into – let me – so we said this. If you go on my on my YouTube channel yesterday, I t- we talked a lot about um, – shout out to Cappy, shout out to Aaron Clary, and shout out to Red Pill Thor. We actually talked about this on my stream yesterday about um, – or two days ago, or a day or two ago, basically. Uh, we talked about um, college college debt and, like, how much is how much, is how much versus – um, the holders of debt, right? Like the largest holders mm-hmm. of debt of college debt in the United States are now women, women. And uh, a lot of men are starting to kind of exit out of that. But the average debt when coming out of college is 30, it's $32,000. Mm. $32,000 to 60,000. And that's most people that's their debt load. And then a lot of people can't pay, can't even pay that shit back with like, mm. I know you can't default on it, but they'll, they'll, they'll like lag it out forever. And you know, and all this other stuff. So and a lot of people can't pay that off. So it, it really depends. Like don't borrow more than your, like your income and stuff. Like, especially if you're like, if you're like, you're not making anything at all, you're making $30,000 a year and you're borrowing like 30 grand or 20 grand, like dudes, like, what are you doing? You know? Yeah. And he, he just said in his specific situation, it's one K in, uh, in interest over five years. That's not bad at all. Um, would take me two years uh, to get 10k uh, in DCA. It wouldn't be uh, wouldn't get as much profits back. I'm not sure if I understand the second half as much, but I mean the the risk on that is lower, right? Yeah. But just again, you know, if it would have been better to do it a year ago, basically. Well, you know, yeah. yeah. Well, and also, you know, it's it's better to talk about those things on a conversation on a consult, right, rather than right. you know, I think yeah. just giving general information there. But um, yeah. I mean, that's where it's at. So, 